there. My name's Maria Lyle and I'm a para-athlete from Scotland. Now some of the things that I do to help the environment is limiting my plastic usage. Now that comes in the form of using reusable bags instead of plastic ones I get from the shop or using shampoo bars instead of the plastic bottles. Another thing that I do is limit the amount of clothes that I buy. I think something that young people are quite guilty of is just buying clothes when we don't necessarily need them. On social media, we see lots of influencers buying lots of different clothes, showing them off, and it kind of, that gives you that pressure of you needing to have a new outfit every time you go out. Now, often we see these clothes piling up in dumps and what happens to them? It's just not good for the environment. So I only buy when I need to buy and I buy from sustainable brands which I know that the clothes are healthy for the environment and also that the workers are getting paid to make them. In recent years, it's become obvious that our way of living has had negative consequences on the world. There's been increased wildfires, floods, droughts, along with rising sea levels and global temperatures. Now we should all start to take responsibility on how we and our daily lives impact on the climate crisis. And we should take the steps in trying to live as sustainable as we can. The easy ways that we can make a difference in the climate crisis is by reducing our plastic usage, by perhaps taking a, a reusable coffee cup or a water bottle, and that stops us using plastic, which isn't necessary. Another thing that I've mentioned before is limiting the amount of clothes we buy each year. Some of the things I'd like to see in the future is everyone starting to take steps in living sustainable and this will help for the environment. Along with this, I'd like politicians and people of power to take the climate crisis seriously and make this a priority. By doing this, hopefully we can all see reductions in the negative consequences that unsustainable living has to the world. By having COP26 in Glasgow, I hope this brings the attention to Scotland and UK about how we can improve the climate crisis. I also hope that this brings pressure to the Scottish and UK governments about how they can make policies which will help to contribute to the climate crisis positively. I also think that this will help to bring the awareness of the public about how our unsustainable living habits have had negative consequences to the world we live in.